Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is SQL interview questions and answer series. Today we are going to look into one of the SQL interview questions. So we have been given an input table with employee ID, name, performance rating and salary. In the output, we want to find out the performance level. Employee ID, name, salary and performance level. And in performance level, we have three categories top performer, good performer, and others. So what we need to find out is, we need to classify the employees into different performance levels based on both performance rating and salary. So we have to classify the employees both on this column, performance rating column and salary. Now, top performer will have excellent rating and salary greater than 7,000. Good performer will have good rating and salary greater than 5,000. And others will be the rest of the combinations. So let's go to SQL and check how we can do it. Okay, I have already written the query to create the table and insert the values. I'll be giving this value in the descriptions as well so that you can create the table and insert the values. So let me run this. So I'm creating a table employees with the employee ID, name, performance rating, and salary. Now let us insert the values. Now let us check our values. So to check the table, select star from employees. Now let's run this. So the table has been created. So we have employee ID, name, performance rating, and salary. We have 10 records and we have to create a new column, performance levels based on performance rating and salary column. So to solve this, we are going to use case statement. Now let's write the query to select. We want employee ID, so employee underscore ID, comma name, comma performance rating, comma salary. Now after salary, we'll put one more comma, then we'll be writing our case statement, case. So this is the syntax for case. We need to use the word case. After case, we need to write when. Now we want performance rating. So let's copy this performance rating equal to excellent. So now excellent, we need to write under single quotes. So excellent and salary greater than 7,000. So when performance rating is excellent and salary is greater than 7,000, then we need to classify it as top performer. So this is for top performer. Now we're writing for good performer. So we'll copy this and paste it here. So when performance rating is good and salary is greater than 5,000, then we need to classify it as a good performer. Else, we are going to classify it as others. Now, to end the case statement, we need to use the keyword end. And we'll be giving it as an alias, the whole case statement. From here, case till end, we'll be giving it as an alias as performance underscore level. Now, from, we want it from the employees table. So, employees here. Now let's run this query. So we got our output. So we have employee ID, name, performance rating, salary, and performance level. We have classified it into top performer, good performer, and others. Now if we see Alice has performance rating excellent and salary 8,000. So we are considering it as a top performer. Now Bob has a performance rating good and salary 6,000, so it will come under good performer. Then Charlie, performance rating average and salary is 4,000, so it's coming as others. In this way, we have classified all the 10 records. So this is the output we wanted, okay? So this is how we have solved it. We used case statement and we have saved it as performance underscore level. In the case statement, we used the when statement to classify into top performer, good performer, then others. 
and we are using and because both this condition, right? Performance rating equal to excellent and salary greater than 7,000, both needs to be true. Then only we'll be classifying it as a top performer. Then same in the second case as well, both performance rating equal to good and salary greater than 5,000 should be true. Then only we'll be considering it as good performer. Others else will be putting it under the category others. I hope you got the idea how we solved it using case statement. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.